Mutton. Look at the size of that mutton. Woohoo, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh, mutton, baby. Woo. Do you see that? I love mutton snapper. Ah. Look at the size of that mutton. Look at the size of that thing. Woo. I love these. These are the best tasting fish. So let's go over my mutton snapper setup. Um, this thing absolutely slays mutton. So uh, I like to use a pen slammer, a spinning rod. Uh, this is a 8,500 with an Esky uh, heavier rod. I believe this is a six footer. Um, I use braid right to monofilament. Uh, the braid on here is a 30 pound test uh, right to a 40 pound monofilament leader. Um, a lot of people use fluorocarbon. I just use mono. This is an Andy. Uh, 40 pound clear leader. I think it just works fine. I haven't had any any difference. So the key is here, uh, what I like to do, I take my braid, I'm gonna tie it directly to my monofilament. I like to use an FG knot, it's really easy uh, to do. And then right from the FG knot, the key is here, and this is the trick. So I'll put a loop knot in right after uh, my mono is tied to my braid and that's where I'm gonna attach my weight. So uh, my weight, I think the, the heavier the better. This is a 16 ounce lead um, with a 40 pound little piece of leader and I attach it to a swivel. So what is gonna happen here is that this is tied to my braid. I have a loop knot and then I'll pull out about 75 feet a liter uh, from this before I actually attach it to my hook uh, and my bait. But this loop knot, once we cast out our bait, we're gonna attach the weight and that swivel to the loop knot. So now this is gonna be bouncing along the bottom, try to keep it a little bit above, um, and that keeps your bait down in the, in the water column. If you use too light of a weight, this will end up coming up with the current and then your bait's way off. You'll end up catching Benito um, or getting bait off. So uh, that keeps it down to the bottom. From there, you're gonna have 75 feet. I'm not gonna pull it all the way out, but I'll pull out 75 feet a liter. Typically, the longer, the better here in South Florida. Um, as long as you're not on the reef, the reef's edge in like the 90 to 100 foot, um, you're not really gonna get tangled up. A lot of it's just sand. Uh, I'll usually catch all my mutton snapper in like 130, 140 feet. Um, so I'll use that 75 feet long leader. That way the bait is away from the weight. Um, your weight, if it's, if it's sitting here and you have your bait sitting right next to your weight, it's gonna scare away the mutton snapper, uh, especially here in South Florida. So we wanna keep it as far away as we can. As soon as we get it way away, we like to, I like to tie, um, this is a five aught uh, circle hook mustad. Um, I use a uni knot and I'll tie it directly to the end of my leader and then right to my bait. But like I said, the key is here, um, we want to make this as, as stealth as possible. This is a 40 pound monofilament leader, an Andy leader. Um, tie it right to an FG knot, right to your braid. We have about 75 feet of line. That way your bait can swim easy, uh, look real, um, and look as natural as possible. Right to a five aught circle hook. We don't want to overdo this either because this will scare away those muttons. Um, and then right to your bait. Um, the line and lead again, it's a 16 ounce lead, 40 pound uh, mono here to just a snap swivel. And then that's right to that loop knot. So um, my favorite baits, I catch the most amount of mutton snapper on Ballyhoo, live Ballyhoo. Uh, those are my go-to's favorites, but a nice pilchard uh, will do the trick as well. So for now, let's jump back into the action and go get a mutton snapper. Fish on, baby. <laughs> Come on, mutton, 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 mutton. Yeah, baby. Woo. Ah, uh, mutton snapper. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. That's what we wanted. It's better than a little mutton snapper.